Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. With bath season upon us, I thought I would show you how I make my bubbling bath melts. Now, these are a combination of a bubble bar and a bath bomb. They have ingredients like shea butter and cocoa butter and jojoba oil, so they're super skin loving. And you're gonna get a little bit of fizz and also a little bit of bubbles. So these are a really fun project to make. They're great for your skin, they're easy, and they're super cute. All right, let's get started. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I'm putting on gloves and I've also put my hair back. And in a minute, we're gonna be putting on a mask. So um, I did put my hair back just for good practices and I'm putting on gloves because I am gonna be selling these. And also because we're using some ingredients that are a bit abrasive um, before they're turned into the bath, the bubbling bath melt. So, okay, that being said, let's get started. So I have my um, scale teared out to zero underneath of this bowl. And the first thing we're gonna do is weigh out our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna be weighing out some baking soda first. And this is how I like to do it because I like to sift all the lumps out. So I, I put it right inside the sifter. Um, and then we're gonna sift out all the lumps. So then I take my spatula and I just kind of push down all of the baking soda through the sifter. So we're breaking up all the lumps. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be adding in is some citric acid. So the baking soda and the citric acid are gonna be what makes the fizzing action. And because it's a combination of both, you're not gonna get a lot of fizz. Um, so it's going to be a light fizz and kind of a light to medium bubble action. Okay, the next thing we're going to be adding is the cream of tartare. This is going to give your bath melt um, a bit of a fluffy foam when the bubbles come through the foam and bubbles are gonna be fluffier because of the cream of tartare and it makes kind of a um, nice creamy texture Okay, now for this next part, I'm going to be adding in the SLSA, the sodium lauryl sulfoacetate. And this is um, something that can cause irritation to the lungs. It is lighter than air, and what happens is it can go airborne and you can breathe it in, and it can irritate your airways and your lungs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mask. 
I'm using this. Of course, you can use, um, you know, something a little, I don't like, more high end. I guess you could go get a paint mask if you wanted, but I use this and it works good and I'm just super careful with how I put it in so it's not flying around. Um, okay, so it takes quite a bit of the SLSA and what I do is I just get kind of close down and I'm gonna start slowly pouring. It takes quite a bit in this recipe. Okay, now I'm going to take it off the scale and I'm going to give it a, a quick fold. And what I mean by that is I'm going to fold over my other ingredients kind of very slowly on top of the SLSA to kind of tamp it down so that we are keeping it underneath the heavier ingredients so it's not flying around. So this takes a minute, but definitely worth the extra step. just kind of slowly folding and getting my dry ingredients all slowly mixed together. Okay, once they're kind of folded in, you can get a whisk a wire whisk and just kind of slowly stir to combine all your dry ingredients. There we go. Okay, now that the dry ingredients are all mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and set my dry ingredients aside. I'm gonna take off my um, mask and I'm gonna bring you in to show you how I do the wet ingredients. All right. So first things first is I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cocoa butter. Okay, that's actually almost exactly what I need. So I'm gonna, there we go. And then I'm gonna add in some shea butter. A little bit too much. Okay, perfect. 
And then into this mixture, I'm also going to be adding in some shea butter. I'm sorry. Into this mixture, I'm also going to be adding in some jojoba oil. The jojoba oil is super luxurious. It's sort of an expensive ingredient. You could definitely sub this out with rice bran oil. Um, that would also make a, a lovely product, and I have actually done that in the past. Um, so we're using a half ounce of jojoba. Jojoba oil is the closest oil to our natural skin oils. It's actually very close to the type of oil our own skin produces. It's very luxurious. There's our half ounce. I'm also gonna be adding in some polysorbate 80. And what this product is gonna do is it's gonna help all the oils um, in this product to not cling to the bathtub. So this will help it disperse into the um, water and kind of rinse down the tub like a soap. To this mixture, I'm also gonna be adding in some liquid glycerin. ahead and melt this down on 30 second bursts um, in the microwave until it's all the way melted down and I will bring you back for the next part of this. Okay, all my hard butters and um, oil, liquid oils are all melted down and my glycerin is all melted down in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and weigh out my fragrance oil. You should definitely do this part second so you're not getting that fragrance oil too hot. And today I'm going to be using um, Vanilla, Vanilla Lace and Pearls by uh, Nature's Garden. This is a really beautiful, warm um, fragrance. I don't have the fragrance notes in front of me, but it smells really um, vanilla. It's got definitely a vanilla base note. I, I can't place um, the top notes offhand, but it's cut kind of a like leathery, oaky type of smell. It smells really good. Oh, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and add this in now. And then also to this mixture, I'm gonna be adding in my color. So for this one, I'm gonna be using um, Summer Crush Mica by Nurture Soap. And I'm gonna be using about a teaspoon of Summer Crush Mica. I'm gonna mix it all in to my little liquid here. It's just a beautiful color. I think that'll look really nice with um, the fragrance that I chose. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get that all incorporated in. And then we're gonna mix that into the dry oils. I mean, we're gonna mix that into the dry ingredients. Okay, the Summer Crush is so pretty. It's got like hues of gold mixed with that light pink. It's very pretty. Okay, now that that's all incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in all of my dry ingredients. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly start to pour the wet ingredients in. and slowly stir at the same time. Just 
kind of start to wet down those dry ingredients. We're sort of creating a dough. And then soon here, we're gonna roll up our sleeves and get our hands in the mix. It's easier to mix this by hand once it gets to a certain consistency. So I'm gonna start doing that now. So we're making kind of like, it definitely feels much different than a bath bomb mixture because this is more dough-like, um, less, less like wet sand. We're just going to go ahead and get the, the rest of that all mixed in. Keep going until it's all incorporated and you're going to get kind of a dough that sticks together. Um, kind of reminds me of Play-Doh when it's in this form and it's warm, still warm to the touch. I'm going to go ahead and take the temperature on this uh, because the temperature is kind of important and how these mold and stick together when they're ready to hold shape. If you do it while it's too hot, they, um, they'll go flat. Okay. Great, we're sitting at right around 90 degrees, which is perfect uh, for molding these. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my tray um, okay, let's see the best angle for you. I'll try to bring you this way so you can see both, both pieces. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop, we're gonna scoop the mixture with an ice cream scoop. And we're, I have a baking sheet under here covered with parchment paper. And then we're just gonna scoop it, kind of pack it in maybe get some of that excess off. And then drop it onto the 
to the baking sheet. So this takes a little bit of practice. You do have to kind of pack it in there, wipe the excess off, and then pack it down again. Um, I think the scoops turn out really cute and they're perfect size for one bath. This is a fun project you could do with kids once the SLSA is kind of, you know, in, when it's in this form, kids would probably really like to get their hands in here and help make the scoops. Um, I find at craft fairs, these are one of my most popular items. Um, they're great stocking stuffers and kids really like them. We're just gonna keep scooping. I will be sharing the full recipe on my Patreon page, so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you want the recipe. Um, there's lots of awesome things on there already. Just for $5 a month, you can go in and have access to every recipe that I have posted there. Um, and then this one's gonna be the next one I post on that page. All that. It's been really good. Okay, so that is how I make my bubbling bath melts. I do like to do a little bit of detail on the top. Um, so I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer to show you how I do that. Okay, so what I do to the top of these is I usually dust it with a little bit of um, cosmetic grade glitter or uh, gold mica or whatever complimentary color I have sitting around. In this case, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of gold mica. Um, and I use a little wire mesh strainer. I get a little bit of gold mica um, and I put it inside here like this, just kind of over the top. Go off the side there, there. And then I just kind of tap and sprinkle a little gold dusting on top of the little scoops. I do let these set up for about three days before I package them. And that's it. That's how I make my bubbling bath melt. Um, they're super fun to make. You just think they turn out so cute. I'll give you a little close up there. Um, again, these, this full recipe will be posted on my Patreon page. So All right, I'm going to bring you over to the sink and show you um, with the scraps kind of how it bubbles up and foams. Okay, so when you actually have the bath scoop, um, you can run it under just the bath water and hold it in your hand and run it out of the bath water and get all the bubbles that are gonna come out of it. Um, you will get more bubbles that way, or you can just plop it into your bathtub and kind of agitate the water a little bit with your hand and uh, melt it down that way. I like to hold it directly under the water. That's my favorite thing. Um, but let me show you what this looks like. Use warm water.
you're getting a nice frothy foaming skin loving bath melt and there's still some pieces down in there so you can just kind of pick them up if you like and or just let them melt in but yeah you get these beautiful they feel so luxurious the bubbles feel soft and like just beautifully luxurious So there you have it everybody, that's how I make my bubbling bath melt. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and a comment below and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.